We legitimize the fact that we spend public money. One billion a year in this facility <coughs> compared to, let's say, agriculture, uh, agricultural subsidies uh, in Poland and other countries. So that is a political decision in the end to make for policy. And we wrapped. You don't have to do a lot of branding for CERN, but you have to do branding of uh, institutions, presumably have to do branding for small institutions, which are hidden somewhere um, on the map. Why this might be relevant, and indeed a question about science communication. We have, we have at the top, Michael Frederick, who is one of the most outspoken and um, visible figures against nanotechnology. Apart from the negative examples, there's also uh, one which I love the most, a particular positive one. The Angelina effect. You can even see the, um, the, the stock prices uh, skyrocketing down there when she, um, when she broke that, that news. You know the story about I mean, how complex was it to share information about genetic testing? Like, who the hell is interested in that? Well, suddenly it's on the covers of the magazine, she gives one interview after the other, and suddenly it's like, if we see that picture, first of all, we might start to worry about those boys, we might ask ourselves, maybe they've had one beer too much, um, because otherwise it's probably not a good idea to put the kill right in front of the pool. The thing is, uh, what happened is, by showing you the picture, I've raised your awareness, maybe more than the pictures before, maybe more than what I'm going to tell you about. Now that I have your awareness, now that I have you um, looking at that, I can use that to put in some weight. Unexpectedly, eight of their organs can be donated, luckily for us. The brain is gone. Not mm. Okay, yes, that was a joke. You're wrong. I'm supposed to laugh. So what's happening? I'm rewarding you. I'm rewarding your attention, your awareness, with some wit. You find it funny. You feel entertained. Who should inform you about the impact of science and technology on the society? Well, if you have Orange 2010 and Blue 2013, this is how it changed in the last three years, and this has been a constant trend over the past 15 years. Um, we see scientists as scientists as the ambassadors of their fields, and rather few of them are doing it, and the majority do not. We have universities with up to 80, 80, 0, 80 communication professionals. We need a societal discourse as early as possible in the knowledge creation process, potentially even before a, a, a funding program has actually been launched. Maybe we need a societal discourse. Do we actually want this science? Which is a difficult issue when it comes to fundamental science, but particularly when it comes to applied science. We need to engage people much earlier than R and D, and we need to be willing to discuss with them open-ended, not expecting certain outcomes or not ignoring certain outcomes if they don't fit our expectations. 